Hey everybody and welcome to IFX, the awesome new web show that teaches you how to do Hollywood style FX on a super cheap budget. My name is Laurent Sparks and I'm going to be your host and today we're throwing axes at our friends. I was recently re-watching the Pirates of the Caribbean movie and decided that I really need to do an episode on one of the effects. With so many movies, there's a lot of cool effects to choose from, but one of my personal favorites is the axe throw effect from the first one. If you don't know what I'm talking about, here it is. So this episode, I'm going to be doing my best to recreate this scene shot for shot. But before we can go throwing axes at each other, we got to find out how much we have to spend. And to help me do that is my assistant, Marvin. Marvin? An old backpack, scrap wood, some bolts and nuts, an X-Acto knife, this axe handle I got at the hardware store, a drill, and black and silver spray paint. Indie FX will be right back. If you can't afford real actors and have to use your friends like I did, make sure you at least buy them lunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. You're watching Indie FX. To make things easier, I'm gonna divide the project up into three main parts. The back rig, the axe, and the filming. I started with the back rig by taking an old school bag and cutting everything but the straps and the back piece of fabric. Then I cut a piece of scrap plywood 8 inches by 8 inches, re-drilled some holes, and secured it to the backpack using 4 nuts and bolts. Now it's time for the axe. I started by using my handle and cutting some cardboard to create a rough stencil. Then I traced the stencil on an old 2x4 and cut it out. I used a skill saw to get the main shape, and then a hand saw to get the edge. I didn't include any particular tool for this job in the shopping list because it really depends on which ones you're familiar with. Once you get the basic shape of your axe head, it's time to start cutting out the rectangular hole. I started by taking my drill and drilling out four corner holes in the space. Then I used a smaller drill bit to get in between the corner holes. The idea is to create an outline of holes. My tip for this is to use the smallest drill that you have to get the holes really close together. The more holes, the better. Then I used my exacto knife to, to sever the now tiny connections. Repeat this entire process another time until you have two identical axes. Now it's time to paint. I used one coat of flat black, taped everything but the sharp edge, and painted it silver. Then I used the paper crane technique with some silver spray paint to wear the axe to make it look more like a hand forged metal. Next, cut a sharp angle in one of the axe heads and secure it to the back rig. Now you're ready to start filming. Have one actor throw the axe forward while doing a quick camera pan. Make sure no one is standing in front of your actor when he or she throws the axe. Next, have the same actor do a throwing motion at your second actor, wearing the back rig while doing a camera pan. Keep in mind, your first actor isn't throwing you, just pretending to. Combine this shot with the previous one, sprinkle in some establishing and reaction shots there, and you're done. Our scene ended up looking like this. Thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, make sure to hit that like box. And if you really like what we're doing here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Most importantly, make sure to comment down below what you want to see us make next week. Have a great day, you guys. Bye-bye.